Turning now to the violence in the district, killings and shootings involving our children here in D.C. have outraged all of us. The victims are getting younger and younger, and it's happening more often tonight. We're taking a closer look at who those young people are and where these shootings are happening. News 4's Mark Seagraves took a deep dive into the data today. He joins us now with a story you will only see here on News 4. Mark? Yeah, Jim, nearly 50 young people have been shot so far this year in the district. Most of the victims are male and African American, and the majority of those shootings are happening in just two quadrants of the city. A child is shot in the district on average two or three times a week. Sometimes they're innocent victims. Sometimes police say they were targeted. Often the suspects are also juveniles. We have to have a city that says enough is enough. We won't tolerate people using guns um, and killing our children. As of last Friday, 48 young people have been shot this year. DC police data show the majority of those shot are young males who are black. 43 of 48 victims are African American, that's nearly 90%. And nearly 80% are boys, 38 of the 48. I don't care what color you are, you want your kids to live um, and to live up to their God-given potential. A majority of the victims are younger than 15. The youngest, a six-year-old girl who survived her injuries. Seven kids have died, including 10-year-old Ariana Davis, who was shot while riding in a car on Mother's Day. We shouldn't have 10-year-olds getting shot on our streets. More than half of the shootings have happened in one quadrant of the city. 27 of the 48 young people were shot in Southeast. 10 were shot in Northwest, 9 in Northeast, and 2 in Southwest. Before he retired, we asked Chief Conti about the rising number of young people involved in gun violence as victims and offenders. I think if we're really going to get our arms around this, uh, we really have to be honest about to our, with ourselves about what outcomes we want to see with our young people. And if it requires us to do something different, we have to love them enough to do something different from what we have been doing. Because if we're seeing these increases in spaces uh, that are alarming to most people, I think that that warrants a second look and warrants us to change. Now, what the chief is talking about, both he and Mayor Bowser have been pushing for tougher consequences for youth offenders of violent crimes, including more incarceration. As for the number of young people being shot year to date for the past three years, those numbers have been going up and they are spiking. Nearly three times as many young people shot this year as in 2021 and twice as many as last year. So this is a trend that it continues to go in the wrong direction. Just unbelievable numbers. And there's a family behind each one of them. Mark, what else did you learn about the, the race of of the children and victims. Yeah, so while about 90% of the young people shot were black, 100% of the young people who were killed by gun violence were African Americans. We have an interactive map at NBCWashington.com that allow you to look at each individual shooting that we've had so far in the district. And these numbers just go up to last week. Mm -hmm. We know since then there has been at least one more juvenile shot already. So this is just something that is not slowing down, not getting any better. And you look on my social media where I posted these numbers, a lot of the responses from from people are just questioning, you know, why would the D.C. Council be going on recess for two months in the summertime when they have crime legislation before them from the mayor that may work to solve some of this or at least reduce some of these crimes. And we know crime goes up in the summer quite often in big cities. Mark, thanks so much. Thank you, Mark.